So with the shuttle company and the line of work I do, I see a lot of bikes, maintain a lot of bikes, ride a lot of bikes, and thanks to the way my brain works, I seem to have a million ideas of how I can make them better. Whether those ideas are any good or not is up to me. So in these crazy times with lockdown keeping me out of the workshop and in the interest of staying sane, I'm challenging myself to design, prototype and hopefully ride all these crazy products that have been bouncing around my head for years. So this is the 48 hour design challenge bike edition. Sweet, so this is episode 4 of my 48 hour design challenge build. The response has been unbelievable from you guys, so keep participating and banging all your comments down below. What I'm going to be tackling in this one is something similar to the hottest tool at the moment, which is the 1UP EDC. I really want that 1UP EDC in it. I can't find it anywhere. Obviously during lockdown, no one wants to deliver these things and they're not essential, so I'll have to wait. But in the meantime, I want to do my own version. I don't really want to thread my own fork, so what I'm planning on doing is same kind of buzz, but it fits up underneath from the bottom of the fork or from the stereo tube. Similar to what I've seen in what the fork cork, which is the raddest name ever, the fork cork or they're called gripper, gripper plugs that you get for plumbing, essentially just screws in and fixes to the sidewall. I'm going to be doing something similar to that. Uh, done a whole lot of research and kind of come up with a a plan here. First part of this is going to be prototyping how it fixes up in there. You obviously don't want something that's going to fall out and needs to fit really tight, uh, but also can't use a tool to undo it. That makes sense, eh? Because all your tools should be inside the thing. The second part of this will be what I put in the tool itself. So I've got this little specialized SWAT. This is the specialized proprietary one, similar to the, the one up tool. I don't know how I came about this, but I've got one and it's probably the perfect size for fitting up there. I'll track down a few other things that I can find lying around that we can chuck up there. But first step, first step is prototyping how it all fixes up there. So we'll jump into Fusion as usual, start prototyping. Hopefully I want to get this done by the end of the day. And then tomorrow we can play with what goes up there. That's the plan. Right, so to be honest, I didn't have a solid idea of how this was going to work. I had a basic plan, and so using those parametric design principles that I used in the last video, I started just simplifying the mechanism and prototyping it iteratively until I'd got something that works. So that's do a little change, print, do a little change, print, until in the end, I actually got something that worked pretty nicely. Sweet, so I spent all of yesterday afternoon prototyping the, the kind of fit mechanism of it. There was a lot of back and forth, the print, prototype, print, prototype, print, prototype, until I got it pretty, pretty much bang on. This pops up there beautifully. Once you tighten it up, it doesn't move. The big friction plate in here stops it from undoing itself. Yeah, it's all one material, which is also pretty cool. The only thing that I had to do was have a little O-ring. I didn't have O-rings obviously, so I just used some TPU that I had lying around, made a made a low ring and it, it works pretty perfectly, pretty stoked on that. I'll, I'll do a little, let's say, exploded view of it, so you can see kind of how it works. As you tighten up this little friction plate, it squishes these wedges out and pushes them onto the side of the of the steerer tube and then she doesn't come out. This is pretty much, pretty much done. You could, you could probably use this as a product itself. I, yeah, you just chuck what you want up the stereo tube, plug it, close it off, job done. I want to get a bit more of an integrated kind of thing, so I'm going to make, I'm going to get all the, the pieces out of the, that hard case. I'll put the link there. I'll get all the pieces out of the hard case, see what I want up there, and then, um, yeah, prototype the, the carrier. But first, we're going to hit the road. I'm going to do a few tests on this. There's no trails around here that I can give it a really good thrashing, but I do need to dial in my wheelie. So, a bit of wheelie practice, make sure she works, and then we'll crack on to, to prototyping all the rest of it, eh? <laughs> Why am I showing you this? Look how bad they are. They did get a little bit better towards the end of the test period, but 
If you got any pointers, let me know. Otherwise, the little plug thing worked like a bomb. Didn't move at all. I had a multi-tool stuffed up there as well, so yeah, pretty happy with the result. On to the next step. Last night was pretty pretty long and, and uh, took it out of me. I thought the fit was going to be straightforward as. I pictured it as a straight tube all the way up, but in actual fact it tapers. And getting that taper right last yesterday afternoon was a hell of a project. Just mainly because I couldn't get in there and see. Um, yeah, tough one, man. I must have printed about eight or nine of these little test plugs just to check the fit. And then when I went to print the the what, the first final piece with with all the with all the locking mechanisms in there, uh, my tolerances were out, and that didn't work either. But Oh, it's not about midnight. Got this final plug bit done. She works pretty straightforward. Pops out. And that's it there. So it's got, well my one, it's got a chain tool, a multi-tool, some cable type storage, some chain links, and that's it. Um, we'll go for a little test ride, make, maybe Maybe do a few little wheelies just to jump around a bit. But other than that, I'm stoked as anything about this one. Tucks away, super tidy. Job done. forget about it, doesn't make any noise while it's in the bike, it's tucked away, tried my best to make it jump out and move but you know, she was still just where we found it. Because the, the plug part's actually pretty much a standalone product by itself, I'll, I'll link all that below and you can download those and print them yourself. Oh, I'll also be probably printing a few of these uh, and then sending them to a few of my subscribers that did want it, so if you do want one, uh, let me know and maybe I'll pick someone of them later in the week for my next video so comment down below if you did want one next week i might do something a little bit different i might head out onto a trail i've got a few products on my bike like my new seats and my pedals that i want to review as well as all the products that are on my bike still i'll take them for a ride and we'll get a bit more of a, a lengthier on trail review for now you know what to do bang your comments down below let me know if you want one of these and um yeah thanks for watching mate see you later